This is simply incredible. In order to help Pakistani save on daily expenses, this motorcycle modification workshop in Pakistan has actually used recycled 2170 batteries to create a highly cost-effective power battery pack. The workers first perform charge and discharge tests on these recycled batteries to screen them. Then they attach double-sided tape to the batteries and use clamps to fix nine batteries together. Next, they use a spot welding machine and nickel strips to connect the batteries in parallel one by one. Don't be fooled by the simple environment and tools of this workshop. The spot welding technique here is actually very impressive. Once the positive terminal is welded, the negative terminal of the battery also needs to be connected in parallel using spot welding. Before long multiple battery groups are welded together in parallel. Next they apply double-sided tape to the side of the battery pack. Then the five battery groups are connected together by alternating positive and negative terminals. They then use transparent tape to bind and secure them. This type of battery pack requires two of these to be made. Next the two battery packs are connected in series using nickel strips to ensure the circuit can handle high current. The worker welds multiple nickel strips between the two groups of batteries. Then an insulating board and tire rubber are placed over the battery pack before folding and arranging it. Next, they use transparent tape to fix it in place. This creates a fully charged battery pack with a voltage of 42 volts. In order to increase the battery pack's capacity, the worker will also use the same method. By welding six groups of batteries in series to create a battery pack with a fully charged voltage of 25.2 volts. Once the series connection of the battery pack is complete, the worker will next weld a lithium battery protection board and quick connect plug for the series connection between the two battery packs. The protection board used here is made by a Chinese manufacturer and also has advanced mobile phone management functions. Since the batteries have been welded with nickel strips, the interface for the collection wires is already reserved. So the worker simply needs to follow the wiring sequence to weld the collection lines in place. Once the collection wires are welded, the worker places a layer of tire rubber over the battery pack and uses transparent tape to secure the battery protection board. The other battery pack also needs to have collection wires welded, so it can be managed managed uniformly. Next the two battery packs can be connected in series using the quick connect plugs to ensure the collection wire connections are correct. The worker tests each of the wiring lines one by one. Once the tests show no issues, the collection wire is plugged into the interface of the protection board. The mobile management software is then opened and the protection board is connected to check the operation of the battery and verify if the collected voltage is consistent. Then the charger is connected to check the battery's charging status. Once all tests are complete the worker carefully wraps the battery pack with plastic film and uses tape to completely wrap the entire battery pack to ensure it is more resistant to corrosion and moisture. Next, the two battery packs are placed in the custom-made battery compartments. The collection wire from the other battery pack is welded onto the reserved wire heads on the protection board. Then an insulating sleeve is applied and the battery pack's tangled wiring is carefully organized. After writing the production date of the battery pack on a piece of cardboard, the battery compartment cover is closed. Next, the charging port is tested. Once it passes the test, the battery pack is ready for installation. The worker installs the battery compartment compartment into the original engine position of the motorcycle and carefully connects the motor controller. Then the motorcycle is powered on for testing. At this point the entire motorcycle power battery pack is complete. So after watching the whole process what do you think of this DIY battery pack?